folks, Wool Benji here. Today we're going to be doing a tier 5 group dungeon map completely solo. Uh, this is on the live server, and here's what we're doing. We're in Saddle Tour. I'm trying to force the map in Bronze Hill, but it could put it in Falconess Hill or any of these other ones. Hopefully it puts it in Bronze so we don't have to travel as far. That's why I'm over here in a tier 4 zone, so I'm going to go ahead and use it right now. And it's in Bronze Hill. Great. Awesome. So now I just have to sneak there and get into the dungeon without being seen by Martlock players or other players in general because sometimes people will follow you in. Well, they will follow me in. Here's the dungeon on the map. And then they will, they're just starstruck. They will follow me around and they will try to help me clear the dungeon or other such annoying things. And that's going to mess up our test results here. So let me pop the stats on the screen for you. And here's our starting fame credits. You can see it right here on the map or on, on the screen. Uh, that I'm not BSing you. That's uh, what we're starting. We're also faction flag. We're going to count our faction points, which um, I didn't type in, so I need to do that real quick. Once I get inside the dungeon, 2,250. That's easy to remember. Hopefully, maybe. All right. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to get to that dungeon now as fast as possible. Now, ESP hackers can see that it, it is a mapped dungeon, and they will call their bros and be like, hey, Someone used them. Oh, see, I'm already kind of spotted. That's okay. I'm in full E3. These guys don't scare me. I just don't want them following me into a dungeon. That's the main thing. If, if I'm near this dungeon and I see other people, then I'm just kind of, I'm going to keep, you know, I'm just going to skirt by. Like, I, I'm not interested. There it is. There's our beautiful dungeon. It looks like a Morgana dungeon. It is not, it is even better. It is the uh, Earth Keeper, Grove Keeper dungeon. Real quick, let's get the 2250 number in there starting faction points 2250 i didn't space that out properly there we go all right and now we're ready to rock and roll we're going to eat our food now i can do one floor in about 10 minutes these mobs are tier 5 they are mapped and uh this is kind of a difficult pull right here uh two big beefy tanky mobs they slow the uh the golem monster here will knock me back if i'm not careful so there we go here comes the knockback I'm, I had to use my shield because I knew I was going to take the hit there. That's fine. My HP is nearly completely full. I'll go over the build in a bit when I'm in between pulls. How about that, guys? So just hang tight if you want to know what build I'm using. It's a popular build that I featured on my channel many times. And yes, it is a great axe build. The reason I use this build is because it's extremely lazy and simple and safe. It's tanky because of the passive on great axe after X amount of swings. I think it's like four or five. You gain a whole bunch of defense for like two seconds. 7,974 from that mob. And, well, I didn't bring a hammer. 7,974. That's the same amount that we were getting in the tier 7 uh, static area. It's... <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's really good farm. This is completely safe because, like, like I said, this is yellow zone, right? This map only cost me 60,000. Okay. Uh, you, you can see that we're getting tons and tons of fame. I, I don't kill the traps because I, they don't give that much, like maybe two to 3,000. We want to do big pulls here, like this. We got the big axe guy. We got the, the throwing knife chicks, whatever they're called. Bones knifling. I don't I don't remember their names. Their names aren't important. What, it, what is important is that they're dead. So We've already completed our daily challenge, which did have a little bit of points on it. I am getting a little low on mana, and here's how we're going to fix that. He's going to spin up right now. I'm going to turn on my shield and get all my mana back. See? It's simple. It's easy. Let's go over the build uh, after I pop my jaw. Wanted to mute my mic microphone for that. You got to pop your jaw. That's, uh, you know, you got the Chad jaw. All right. So we got the the, the 8.3 Great Axe, 8.3 Hellion Jacket, 8.3 Scholar Cal, 8.3 Guardian Boots with a Roast Pork, which we did not forget to eat this time. These guys are the best fame like mobs for group dungeons. These Earth Keeper Wildlings, the male trash mobs. They're really easy to kill, and they give like 5,000 each. They're, it's just so good. 5,396. So good. And I have the 8-3 Satchel, so 2,000 of that is from that. I've got the 8-3 Thetford Cape, okay? Remember, we want to pull as many as we can. Just one big happy family of just massive amounts of experience. And there we go. And we spin. Again, if you want to know more info about this build, I have so many videos on my channel. Just check out my channel. Just look through my catalog. You'll find them. Uh, they're tagged with, like, group dungeons in the title. You know, there's there's a full explainer in, in those. 
And I'm in I'm in no real danger of dying. I haven't even used my Hellion jacket yet. I'll go ahead and use it now. And there we go, just get our life back. And we can stand in this guy's whirlwind, it's no problem. These guys tickle. The mobs inside of the static area in a tier 5 yellow zone do more damage than these guys in a tier 5 map, okay? Uh, maybe I should try a higher tier map and <laughs> get some more. Maybe, maybe, it'll, maybe it'll be worth it. I don't know. Maybe that's a topic for another video that we can do. Oh, I'm sorry. I have this on the screen. Let me just t turn that off. All right. Now the screen is more clear. And yeah, th this is this is good. Now, there is a problem with this. Okay. Like I said, people can find your dungeon. They can invade it. Right. If a bunch of Martlock people, you know, see a group dungeon, they're looking for one and they're like, oh, there's a group dungeon right here. And they all come in. Then I've got five Martlock people I got to deal with which I can't deal with them with this build. I'll have to duck out and lose my 60k. But the fame that I've earned so far has already really paid for that 60k. 60k ain't nothing when you're on my level, okay? <laughs> I'm not trying to brag or say that I'm like a rich Albion player or nothing. You know, I'm modest. There's people way more wealthy in the game than me. But, I mean, once you are established and you can do things like this, 60,000 is just is nothing, man. You can get that in, in like minutes. And yes, we are slightly injured. Now, here's a dangerous mob that we're going to skip or run past. Is the he's Earth Keep, uh, Keeper Earth Child. Uh, very, very big. You know, you know what's guys. You know what's big. Those big things. Those big knockers. Anyway, uh, you want to avoid those because they buff the mobs, and the a buffed mob will absolutely wreck you. Okay, even in eight three. Like, if these two wizards get buffed, their auto attack deals like 400 freaking damage each. It's crazy. I need to stand in this for mana. Uh, don't worry about my health. I got Hellion Jacket. It's fine. We're going to heal. We're going to get it back. We got our mana back. That's what's important. When we have full mana, that allows us to keep pulling and keep doing damage. We just got a uh, little Tome of Insight there. That's 30k right now. These things have went up in price because of all the new announcements they're making. All right. We got 20 seconds on our Hellion Jacket, so we need to be a little careful, not be too reckless. You know, we don't have our heal, but we do have our shield. I'm waiting for the lightning cloud to turn off so I can get back into range and continue the fight. The wizard is the high DPS priority target in, in this matchup, okay? I'm gonna grow, take a little bit of that laser damage. And you can see I'm just kind of weaving in and out of the laser. And we're gonna, we're gonna go all in here, take them out. I don't even know if this thing is... Yeah, okay, it's taking proper damage. We're going to go ahead and kill it since we wounded it. 4,000? Not bad. Well, yeah. That was 4,000. Not bad. Maybe the traps are worth killing. I tend to skip them because they take a while. All right. We got... These giants are, can be dangerous. This mom has 11,000 HP. All right. So if you're doing a big pull, you want to be a little careful with them. If you pull too many, they can overwhelm you and out DPS your sustain. So in this case, I'm going to use my Hellion Jacket. I'm not really injured, but I'm going to go ahead and use it because by the time this guy dies, I will have it up for the next pull anyway. And then after his ability, that's when I use the shield because he's going to do an attack that I can't avoid. And then after his big attack, I'll use my next offensive. So right here, because he can't avoid those little slaps that he gives. And, uh, yeah, we, you know, we, we took care of him. He's mostly dead. We're mostly alive. I'm going to go ahead and spin him here because uh, he's going to eat the full spin. I just want to kill this as fast as possible. 7,974 fame. All of that being converted to fame credits. There's another Earth Mommy. That's what I call him. That's their nickname. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're just going to run from that fight. That's a dangerous fight. We want to see she's buffing the wizard now. We, uh, we have to run until they lose aggro. So there we go. They lost aggro. Now we can fight these two nice and peacefully. Now, in this case, I would say normally the wizard is prio or priority target. But because the big guy is so darned beefy, we can keep the wizard alive. Use him as a like a health regenerating sponge with our Hellion Jacket while we continue to wear down the big giant guy. Now, I have dabbled in a theory that if you just skip giants and you skip the beefy tanky mobs, that you actually earn more fame, but it also wastes the map. Like, if you use a skip set and just fight the, the dinky little trash mobs, you do get more fame per hour, which is great. However, it's, uh, like I said, a waste of the map. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be able to clear the floor in about 10 minutes regardless. 
So, I mean, I'm already here. I might as well take them out. And this looks like a tough fight. It's three axe dudes, right? They're not really that tough. Just make sure you hit them with all your abilities. And, uh, yeah. Look at that. They've already lost nearly 40% of their life in just the opening fight. I actually did not use my growth properly there. And you can see that my mana is getting a little low. That's fine. I'm actually going to use the shield here so I can get some mana back. Which I, again, didn't use it properly. That's fine. Now, because there's three of them, I'm not going to let them spin me. Because that would really, really hurt. So I'm just going to run from them. And then use my Hellion Jacket. That guy spun a little later than the others. That's fine. But see, they're all dead. And we are moving on to the next floor. Now, I didn't bring items with me to kill or solo bosses because I'm only interested in the fame earned uh, for this kind of acti act bleh, activity. Can't even talk. These things are generally harmless and they give you mana when you kill them, so uh, I'm just auto attacking them while I wait for my cooldown since I just zoned into the next floor. There we go. Now we have our cooldowns. All right, and that gave us a good chunk of mana. And we want to wait for him to path over here to his lady friends so they can all die together and not be sad that one of the other ones have died first. In this case, uh, the women die first because, well, they have less armor. They're not as big as this beefy boy with the axe. You know, uh, just that's just how it is. Technically, it's because they're the weaker, just kind of throwaway trash range mob. And this guy is like the main melee DPS mob. He's not the tankiest mob. It's kind of like a mid-range bruiser, I guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit out his, his spin. Re-engage after his spin ends. And down he goes. Yes. And yes, I am actually picking up the silver off the ground because it's, it's quite worth it. Now, I'm going to make sure that I clear all the trash on both sides. It looks like neither side had any trash. Uh, but, like, see these two mobs? Totally worth killing. Look how much fame they get. I think it's like 4,000 each. Like, look at this. In in literally one cooldown, a couple autos, 3,777, I made half of a, a fame tome. Pretty darn good. How's my recording software? Are we, we lagging? We good? I think we're good. All right. Everything looks good. We're going to engage the big, beefy rock boy and the tree guy. Earth and also Earth. <laughs> I'm going to have to take that hit. No, I'm not. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead and spin them up. I do need to put on a shield because I'm getting low on mana. Take a few hits there. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and grow big so I can avoid that. Barely missed. Barely avoided. It's fine. You just want to watch your HP. If it starts getting low, use that Hellion Jacket. The Hellion Jacket does more damage and heals you for more uh, the weaker that you are. The ideal time is to use it when you only have one little block of life remaining. Uh, though that, you know, that's a little risk. It's up to you. You can also just use it to kill groups of mobs faster. The faster that you pull the mobs and clear the mobs, the more fame per hour you technically make. Especially if you load an inventory full of maps and you just burn them the whole time. Alright, so we're looking at this pool. Uh, bear, wizard, earth mommy. That's that's not, that's not fun. We need to avoid this fight at all costs. And we did. We were able to skirt by them without being detected. So we can go up and around them, no problemo, right? While getting the, the actual mobs that are worth killing because they give so freaking much fame. Alright, so she has now path this way. We can grab these guys and kill them all at once. That's the goal, okay? You want to kill everyone at the same time. Just spit them all up and don't stand in their freaking attacks. There you go. So she will bleed out soon. That's fine. I've got my W back up again and use our Hellion Jacket so we regenerate life. Now, if you use your W and you hit a bunch of mobs, it will increase the damage that you do, which will stack with your Hellion Jacket, which will allow you to heal more. So I always combine my high damage abilities with the W, right? Which is Whirlwind. Ooh, that's a 5-1 boot. And Hellion Jacket. Those are the two big main DPS abilities. So remember, we're skipping that because it's it's just a stupidly long, tough fight. This one's not so bad. The bears are tanky and they're annoying to kill, but they, they aren't dangerous at all. You can just kind of walk around them the whole time. 
So we stacked up our W's damage to 10. You can see in the top left. Well, it just it just ran out. Rewind the video if you want. And when it's when it reaches 10, that's the maximum potential. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hellion jacket here. I'm not injured. Oh wait, this isn't the this isn't the end of the the floor. I thought we were going to the next floor. That was my bad. I'm I'm blind. Sorry guys, I shouldn't have used my Hellion jacket there, so I might have to wait now, but I think we'll be alright. We'll be fine. I can just stand here, use my shield, get some mana back. That's the whole point of the shield, so that you have high defenses, and you don't run out of mana, because you don't want to run out of mana, because then you have to stop and wait. Have we had to stop and wait at all, this whole dungeon? Not really. If you compare it to that video that I put out a while back, I don't know how many days it's been, uh, where I tried to do the tier 7, you know, group dungeon, you can clearly see. So we can pull these guys and these guys, uh, but it's going to take them a bit to path back around. Sadly, I didn't do it correctly, but look, they tickle. They, they do, like, no freaking damage. All right, so here they come. So now we're going to just hit them all at once and blend them all up nice and nice and good. That's 15,000, and then these guys are, like, 25,000 fame. That's being converted to fame credits. You know, that's going to be like 50,000 fame credits, and that's going to be 100,000 fame. It's it's just, it's too good, guys. It's too freaking good. Right, and we're only 15 minutes in. Okay? I can just shield this. I don't have to worry about it. I can spin with them. Look, we all spin together down here. Now, there are some bosses you can solo. Uh, this is not one of them, so I'm going to avoid him. Uh... <laughs> Which, like I said, I could bring a druidic staff. I've made videos on that as well. I could bring a druidic staff and solo that boss and get the loot. But generally, it's not worth it. I'm just interested in the fame. I'm trying to min-max the fame per hour. And yes, I'm aware that I'm spinning without the W buff. That's fine. Because we're going to use that W buff right there. And then we're going to use it with the Hellion Jacket. That way we can tap out our mana. We're going to activate the shield. Or, I'm sorry, we can tap out our, or max out our life, not tap it out, jeez. That way we don't have to stop. Ooh, we got a tier 8 Elder Soul, very nice. What is our, ooh, and a fame, we've made almost 100,000 in loot so far, and we haven't even killed the boss. Very cool. We want to pull more, we want to pull the whole dang room, guys. want to pull this whole room. And yeah, it looks it looks stressful, but it's not. Just make sure you're pounding on the bear and, and the rock monster. Okay, I can activate my Hellion Jacket early. Everything that actually does damage is already dead. In this instance, you want to focus the rock monster because it has a bigger attack. It does more auto attack damage. It's the bigger threat than the bear, okay? The bear, you can just dance around. Like, I'm pretty sure you can kill these bears in tier 2. If you find a bear in a group dungeon with nothing guarding it, and you're a tier 2 player with no reaver, you can kill it. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys, you can, you can absolutely kill it. It's, it's, it's just that easy. There's also a, um, a Morgana epic boss, the sword lady, the double sword lady. You can kill her in like flat tier 1. You could actually punch her to death if you, if you <laughs> just frame min-max, you know, perfect the, uh, her patterns. You could literally be completely naked and punch her to death in a tier 8.3 group dungeon. I'm not even kidding, right? That's just how the fight is programmed. Of course, that would take hours, and you'd have to be an absolute insane man, madman to do it, but it is possible. Absolutely possible. You can you can stand and tank the, the bears if you want. Look at, look at the bear. Like, it does 57 auto attack. My, my auto attack heals for 22, and I get two of them. So one, two... Yes, for the the knockback is 95. You don't even have to really dodge the bear if you don't want to. You could just set your character to auto attack, put yourself in a corner, and then go make yourself a drink. <laughs> All right, you don't actually have to dance around. But hey, we got another. Uh, what is that? Tome of Insight. We're up to 127,000 in loot. Double bears and a stone golem. Like this would make people like poop their pants. But it's easy. Remember, you prioritize the rock monster. You want to be slinging out your auto attacks so that you get your dang passive. And I don't think I have the right passive set. No, I have I have life steal on. I have the wrong passive on, and I'm st I'm still tanky. I got to change that after this fight. That's fine. 
We don't, as you can see, we don't even really need the tanky pass, so we haven't even been using it. Which is my bad, I was doing something else with the passives. Oh, and, uh, you know, Great Axe, uh, you can't be interrupted during spin anymore, so you could stand in their stupid knockbacks, it's fine. Right, I keep forgetting, I'm, I'm like an old school player, where, uh, it would interrupt your spin. Alright, so the rock monster's dead, the bears are following suit next, they have 10,000 HP each. We have fought through 30,000 HP worth of mobs. And I know this sounds or looks really boring, but again, this is just superior fame, guys. Just absolute superior fame earnings. Switch to the defensive, not damage. We don't want damage. We want defensive. The damage one's good, but it's not enough. It, the value you get is just not enough. Here's another mob you can technically punch to death, right? They have two attacks. They throw a fire bomb on the ground and then one that just explodes, right? One burns the ground for a, a timer. And that, they just alternate. That's all they do. And you can you, you could punch this mob to death. You can get naked and slap it. Right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's really that easy, right? But of course we don't want to do that because that would ruin our fame gains per hour. And down she goes. Oh, look at that, another fame tome. That's the cool thing about these group dungeons. They drop extra fame jumps. I don't know the drop rate for group dungeons. For regular mobs, it's 0.3% drop rate, okay? Uh, which is actually a lot if you factor in how many mobs there are during the Halloween event dungeons. Because those things are just cram-packed full of mobs, right? You can go into a room with like a hundred rats, okay? And you'll almost always get a fame tome. <laughs> Every single time. And you can clear that dungeon in like eight minutes. It's nuts. It's like the best fame farm in the entire game is during the Halloween event. Which I don't even know if they're going to do one anymore since uh, the company was bought out. There's not even, like, people aren't even sure if there's a fame leak or not. I know you're watching this after the anniversary of Albion, but it's filmed, I'm filming it on the 12th, and for you it's probably like the 23rd or 24th. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's a fame leak. But hey, this, this map is pretty good. So far we're on, like, the third floor. And we're clearing about one floor in ten minutes. I got, what, ten minutes left on my food buff? So yeah, we've spent 20 minutes so far, ten minutes per floor, that's about average and i'm not gonna like this is giving i think this is giving more fame than, than static dungeons it could be just wait on my cooldowns because these things kind of suck right they're they're tanky and they have annoying and annoying not back attack they're not fun to deal with now as far as fame per hour goes the the earth keeper dungeons the one we're in right now is the absolute best one for fame okay all right, so this is a risky room. There's a giant there. There's two of these rock monsters. They are a different color, but they, they're they the same freaking monster. It's just the, I don't know, the color of the game or something. We don't want to take, we don't want to be too risky. If I pull that giant two and these two, I could maybe do it. I could maybe kill them all, but it's going to be really, really hard. And I don't want to be down because if I, if I go down, I lose like 100,000 silver, which isn't really much anymore for me, but it's still a good amount. And see these rock monsters, they're 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 beat they're bashing my head in. Like they're they're doing damage. Okay, I have aggroed the giant, so we're in a in a bit of a pickle. But that's okay. We've got this. We want to make sure we maximize our W's damage first. Avoid the stun, activate our Hellion Jacket. We should be able to kill these rock monsters before they become too much of a problem. And there we go, down they go. I should be able to kill this giant now. Uh, which will take some time. We got the shield, we're gonna absorb his punches. And get some mana back. That way we can continue killing him. And it's just that easy. I'm ex I'm excited to see how much fame we earned, guys. Because uh, I'm also surprised that no one's invaded my dungeon. Uh, about the time I'm playing right now, it's about midway into prime time. Not quite fully there yet. And one thing that I've actually learned not too recently is that there's two prime times. There's a morning prime time and an evening prime time. Or I guess it depends on what part of the world you're in, but... Uh, yeah. The reason we, you know, we use the defensive passive is for fights like that. Without the defensive passive, we would be losing way more health. For those, those that don't know, after five attacks, you get 106 damage resistance, right? That is a lot. That makes you really, really beefy, okay? And we like to be beefy here on the Soul Benji channel, okay? It's all about being big and strong and Chad-like, okay? <laughs> yes.
So Chad like, indeed. <laughs> I have noise gate, so it they can only hear you if I'm in the middle of talking. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Killing the rock of monsters. Yep. Does your guys, does your girlfriend ever just look at you and go, ew? Every day all day. Every day all day? Nah. Nah, it's just because the cameras are rolling. I remember being like a little kid and like one of my mom's friends pulls out a camcorder and I just like become this monster. Like I, I just I was like, oh, oh, there's a there's a camera. <laughs> just went nuts, dude. Love the camera. Like I get like people are like camera shy and stuff. I'm like the opposite. I'm like camera extrovert mode. It's 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 interesting. <laughs> Says the guy who's not camera. I got I get it. I get it. Where's the webcam, Swole Benji? Where's the webcam, dude? The webcam is so that Reddit freaking doxers don't freaking go nuts and full blown cancel culture me because I'm revealing their stupid video game secrets. Like, that's why they're always so mad all the time. Oh, you're ruining Albion with your secrets, bro. I mean, like, someone's gonna eventually make videos on this stuff, you know, just because I did it first. And. And that's why I'm doing it now. Like, there's there's someone out there that's been doing this exact farm. That are like, you know, they, they buy maps every day. And they farm these dungeons. And now that I made this video, they're going to be like, How dare you release this video? That was my ultimate fame farm secret. Oh, now everyone's doing it. And now no one can do it. Which is true. I mean, that is absolutely true. I understand the pain and frustration. But hey. You know, I think it's worth it because... Here's the, here's the thing, like, I don't remember everything when I play video games, okay? And maybe one day I'll want to come back to this game, and I want to have all of all of this stuff, like, <laughs> in my arsenal, ready to go, so that if I ever pick this game back up again, that I will know exactly what to do, and how to do it, and what is efficient, and what sucks, alright? And yeah, it, right now the whole game does suck, but maybe one day it'll be better, it'll be like EVE Online, like EVE Online... That game is like Eternal. It's like one of the oldest freaking games out there. And this is like the medieval version of that game, right? So, I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe things will change. You know, you gotta do the tests. But hey, we have a baseline, okay? Like, have you ever learned how to, like, cook something? Like, something complex or complicated? And then you don't cook it for a long time and you just, like, forget? Like, oh, how, how many cups of this do I need? How many milliliters of this liquid do I need how many how long do I put it in the air fryer for etc right like I don't remember how to freaking air fry a hot dog you know a week after doing it so if I make a video on it guess what I can you know open an internet browser go go to the soul binge channel and ta-da now I know how to do it in just a few seconds because I made a video on it and it's all Gucci Speaking of, what, what, why is the word Gucci, like, a thing? Is, I get it, it's like some sort of fashion thing, right? Like, rich people wear stupid clown outfits that look ridiculous. And, uh, but who decides what brand is, like, good or bad? Is it, is it the quality, or is it just that some rich, famous person wore it once in, a, in like, a rap video, and now everyone's gotta do it? And I'm actually missing silver here, and an item! Look at that, I, I missed an item. Oh, it's just a rune, it's fine. Alright, what is this pool? This is a double bear rock monster pool. So we've been getting a lot of tanky pools, and none of none of the really good ones. Okay, so there are two huge fame boosting pools in this style of dungeon. There is one that has five knife throwers and a white wizard, right? That is a really good one, but there's also a room with three males and three female knife throwers, and that is the best darn fame pull in the entire game that's the one that you want to do those are the really good ones and i'm lagging a bit you see those bears freaking teleporting around these bears are uh, they're speed hacking they're uh, they turned on their hacks they're sick of getting bullied <laughs> that or uh i don't know uh if they knock you too far they will reset the fight which is a huge time waster now i didn't i didn't need to use the hellion jacket there 
I just wanted to get my life back for the next pool, because uh, I'm betting that the next pool isn't a super dangerous one. Which it's not, it's one bear and three little baby rock monsters. The poor little baby rock monsters. Can How do rock monsters grow? Like, do they, what do they eat? Do they just eat smaller rocks? Are they like rock cannibals? And why do the bears hang out with them? Like, do, is this a mama bear? And, and the little rock monsters are suckling on the mama bear's teat? You know, with their little rock lips? And their little rock arms? I don't, I don't get it. Maybe, maybe they're like little toys to the bear, right? Like a little doll? But they're sentient? And the rock monsters, they have to respect the bear because it's like part of nature. And it's part of their like rock monster code to, uh, re to you know, like let the bear swat them around and throw them against the walls and stuff. I don't know how bears would play. Alright, so there's an earth mommy up there. We want to avoid her. Don't want to anger mother, do we? And uh, now, there is a way to fight those if you want. The thing is, is those things are extremely tanky. It's just a huge waste of time. So what you have to do is you have to engage them. And then when she buffs the wizard, you have to run really far out of range. So that the wizard freaking, like, runs out of the buff circle. Then she will run up and rebuff the wizard again. And it's a big kiting game. Our food buff has 45 seconds remaining. So we can do one more pull. And we're actually, like, near the boss room. I think there's one more pull after this, guys. There is one more pull after this. I kind of want to do it. Just for the sake of closing out the video. You know, showing the the fame earned in one dungeon, which is about 30 minutes. You know, it's not 30 minutes it's ex exactly, but it's 30 minutes close enough. Close enough for me. Some Reddit guy out there will be like, Swell Binge is so misinformative. It wasn't 30 minutes. He's fudging the numbers, dude. Uh, he's such a bully, he downed people in the yellow zone. Uh. Ooh. Items and a silver. Okay, so our food buff is now officially out, but there's one more pull, and look at this pull, it's a juicy one. It's also pretty easy. It's one wizard and his three little protégés, which, um, maybe it's just his buddies. They were, like, having having a nice drink or something. I don't really know, but without, without the... <laughs> Without the roast pork, it is is definitely dangerous. I'm actually very close to dying here. So I'm just gonna pop on my cooldowns. And oh wait, there's more! There's more in there. I shouldn't have used my cooldowns. Yo, th this is too juicy to pass up. This is four mobs, okay? So I'm gonna wait just a bit, and then we're gonna pull them, and then we're gonna get the numbers, and the numbers are going to be great. I'm just waiting. I, I am not engaging without my cooldowns. Uh Life still aura. Again, we're just waiting. It's already been 30 minutes, but we're gonna pull, pull these two dudes, and we want the ranged girl to follow down here so we can get them all nice and bunched up. And we're just gonna do this old school style. See how easy that was? We didn't even need the Hellion jacket, but we did need the little health that it gave. All right, so let's see our fame credit earnings now. Fame credit earnings, let's pop up the menu. That's what this series is all about. Ending fame credits, seven, oh no, it's not seven, it's eight, holy crap, eight, four, two, eight, dang, that's 30, that's freaking 30 minutes. Guys, we just found the new fame farm meta, and you were here to witness it. Fame credits earned, let's do the math, we're pulling up the calculator, eight, four, two, eight, seven, six, seven, click the minus key so I don't mute my microphone, seven, three, five, three, six, one, two, one million fame credits. In 30 minutes, holy crap, guys. Holy crap, look at that. Jeez. And then, this is the fame that we earned. Two million in 30 minutes, oh. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, now, faction points. I'm excited for this one, too. How much faction points did we earn? Oh, it's, a, it's an okay amount. What is that? 5,896. Uh, which, when calculated, 5896, click the minus key, uh, 2250, oh, we earned 3,646, so that's like 40k, it's like 40,000, because you can buy heart with that. Pretty good, guys. Yeah, Gu <laughs> guys, that is an amazing fame farm, we made 159,000, now granted, I don't, I don't know what our silver started with, I think it was 14 million, and we're down to 12.7 million. 
So we spent like a million three hundred thousand in silver. But dude, that is that's a million fame credits in thirty minutes, guys. A million fame credits in about thirty minutes. All right, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be it only costs sixty thousand for that map, guys. It costs sixty thousand for the map. A million three hundred thousand for the fame credits. I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro. Stay swole. Make sure you return your shopping carts. Leave a like and a comment. Do both. If you do both, it's an algorithm combo. It's like a YouTube cheat code. Really helps out. It super really helps out, okay? Also, subscribe. The algorithm, I know it shows you my videos. I know when you load up YouTube, my videos pop up and I upload every freaking day. But you need to subscribe because it won't always show you my videos. At some point, the algorithm is just going to be like, you know, you've seen enough of this guy. Here is something else. So subscribe. It's completely free. You can always unsubscribe later. There's like 73% of you that haven't subscribed yet. Come on now. Just click that subscribe button right now. Do it. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, lads.